Hey guys, today I am going to talk about should you stay the course. This is something that this is something that Alpha Investment really, really loves. Uh, stay the course, diamond hands, right? Diamond hands, crypto, right? Uh, six nine, right? You use this a lot of crypto lingo, and a lot of this crypto lingo, I think, is mainly because his audience really likes you know free attendees and all this stuff wall street bets you definitely can understand that people were you know stay the course which means don't sell and diamond hands which is his new group i don't think these are good ideas anymore i think when you see something and the marketplace is changing in a very negative way you should probably think about getting out no one knows how long the market will hold up. And I think in terms of money, in terms of resources, uh, there might be better investments right now. The S&P 500 is always uh, worth looking at. You can peg it to the S&P 500. Um, a, lot of, a lot of what I think um, people are afraid of is that their cardboard cannot be sold easily. Um, I don't think people really want cardboard anymore. MetaZoo, MetaZoo especially, right? The market is really punishing those people who have lo loads of product is the liquidity of it. There isn't that much liquidity. There are not that many buyers. I can tell you that there are many more sellers than there are buyers out there. And the market itself is really just not uh, not doing well on most of this product uh, the buy list is down and i think the buy list like if you have a hundred boxes of war the spark or 50 boxes or 10 boxes what is your actual out like what is your actual sales and people say oh i have ebay no you don't because it would be really easy just to link your ebay account and we could see how much metazoo you sold we could see the volume we can see the price we can see all this stuff i mean it's it's obvious, like, you know, like if you have a TCG player account, I don't see any of that stuff. I see a lot of people talk about that they have it, but they really don't know how difficult it is to get good reviews, do good customer service, invest in that type of stuff. I think in the end of the day, no one actually knows how to sell cards. And when the market is really bad, you are not going to be able to sell cards. Because a lot smarter people, a lot more aggressive people, a lot of other people are going to compete, uh, including maybe the alpha investments individual who sold you the car, right? Uh, in my opinion. Um, I mean, you're dealing with a lot of competition from everyone in an, a fungible item, especially if it's a sealed box. Stay the course, diamond hands, these are funny memes, but they aren't really good life advice, in my opinion. Because life changes, um, maybe your goals are different, maybe you want to do something different in your life. But uh, overall, I, I do believe that if you are in the Titanic and you see an iceberg, you probably do need to swerve off, right? You probably do need to leave. You probably do need to figure out something. And that's what a lot of uh, Alpha Investments patrons are doing right now. They, they kind of figure something out. They don't have much money left. There's no way for them to sell the box because all the other patrons are selling the boxes too right now. You know, I got two emails the other day and they have exactly the same boxes, almost verbatim. All the patrons, they bought the same exact boxes because they were told that this was a great investment. And it was not. Um, you know, in, in terms of how much money and and in terms of how much money you spent and how much time you spent and you know, getting your money back it is very very difficult it is very very difficult in my opinion to uh, make money back from card games right now and there's always somebody willing to undercut you there's always somebody willing to basically make it so that you're not the cheapest bid or cheapest seller. So I do think that right now magic is in the tough, tough play and, and, and you, the magic and you talk about meta zoo, right? They talk about meta zoo. 
Um, there's a lot of very difficult things. Um, yeah, there's a lot of very difficult people right now trying to sell. And they don't have much money left. And all they have is a bunch of cards. I think that is pretty intriguing, in my opinion. Because, you know, the one thing that you have to teach some, them to do, and if Rudy Chen really cared about them, is to teach them how to sell, how to build up an account, where to sell, these things. Um, and also, you know, how, how do you compete against low prices? Magic the Gathering is definitely not a... You know, the, these cards are definitely not easy to move right now. There's too many people, to too many sellers... Too many sellers um, and not that many buyers. So steady course, I think, is a really bad idea. Um, I think it is a really bad idea right now. I think you got to look at what else is out there and can you make other investments and decide, you know, is it better for me to sell and take a loss and then put it in something that can actually make money. And it's not the only hobby, right? A lot of the collectible hobby is making the same tough decisions.